What's up, everyone? This is Vaughn Levi from Building Beats, music producer, DJ, and music educator. And we are a nonprofit organization that aims to provide music education for all. You can check us out on buildingbeats.org or you can check us out on social media at Building Beats on all platforms. All right. So today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve the auto tune feature or the auto tune sound in soundtrap this is extremely popular and a lot of us have been using it you can hear it in pop songs rap songs and even in certain rock songs people use the auto tune so i'm going to show you exactly how to achieve this in soundtrap you're going to need a couple free tools that you can download on the internet to your computer to achieve this sound and i'm going to share my screen and get this thing going okay let's do it what i did Today is I remade the chorus of The Woo from Pop Smoke's album featuring Rowdy Rich and 50 Cent. And this is my rendition of the chorus with the auto-tune sound on it. Ooh, ride with the Woo. Ride with the Woo. Pretty spot on. So I'm going to let you listen to it without it. And you can hear the big difference between with the tune and without the tune. So here's the without the tune. Ooh, ride with the wolf. Ride with the wolf. Not the best vocal. So let me show you how I achieved the auto-tune with this instrumental. So a lot of us are going to probably going to be downloading instrumentals and recording the songs here in Soundtrap. So once you download your beat from Soundtrap, you're going to, need to do two things. You're going to need the tempo of the song, and then you're going to need to know the key of the song. The key is extremely important because if you don't know the key of the song, the auto-tune is going to sound really out of whack and you're not going to, not going to get what you want. So the first thing I did was download this free BPM maximizer called BPM Analyzer by Mixmizer. It's free for Windows and Apple products. All you have to do is go on the website. I'll make sure I'll leave the link on below so you can download it. And I also used this free program called KeyFinder. And KeyFinder will tell you the key of the song. So Mixmizer tells me the BPM. The BPM is 99.99. .99. So I put 99 in there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the key of the song. This is extremely important. Do not skip this step. So I'm going to drag my instrumental in there. I'm going to hit run batch anal analysis. And then it's going to tell me to detect the key. So it may take a little couple seconds to do so. Cool. This is GM. So this means G major. Hey, folks. It's your boy, Von Levi, with a disclaimer. I made a mistake when it came to identifying the key. The key is actually G minor. Big G and small m means G minor. The reason why I said G major is because when I actually used the G minor key on my voice, in this tutorial, it did not react correctly. So I ended up using G major. Just to give you a little bit more context, sometimes when you use the key finder in Soundtrap, you may have to use both G major and G minor just to test out to make sure that it sounds good. The key may not be in G major, it may be in G minor, or reversed. In this case, it was in G major, just from my voice. So just wanna give you that disclaimer. Let's get back to the video. And this is what you're gonna to use to dial up your auto-tune in Soundtrap, all right? So here is my Soundtrap auto-tune version. Again, here's it bare. Ooh, ride with the Ride with the wolf. Cool. And this is 
the version with no tune on it. Ooh, ride with the wolf. Ride with the wolf. Not the best, but it's not horrible either. So one thing I want to also explain is when you are singing into the microphone, make sure that you're at least singing a little bit on point or to enough as you can in your head because this is not made in real time. So basically what real time means is you can hear the auto tune adjusting your voice while you're singing. This isn't like that in Soundtrap. What you have to do is you have to record yourself first and then you dial up the auto tune in the edit window. So we know that this is in the G key. So I'm gonna go hit edit. I'm gonna go to auto tune. I'm going to go to G major up here. And this is where things start changing for you when you're dialing up your auto tune. So if you just want a little light auto tune where like all it does, it just corrects some of your notes when you are singing, or if you really want that machine sound, you're gonna go to heavy. If you want it just a little bit, you go between light and middle, but if you really want that heavy out tune sound that's popular, you're gonna hit heavy. You're gonna hit save, and then you'll be able to achieve that sound. Now, when you finish analyzing it and it's already in auto tune, it's going to sound a little dry. So you might want to add some effects to it, but let's give it a shot, give it a shot, see what it sounds like. Ooh, ride with the wolf. Cool. So that sounds decent. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a reverb to this. I'm going to go to effects. I'm going to put some reverb all the way up. Then I'm going to go and put a delay on my track just to give it some space. And let's see how it sounds. Ooh, ride with the wolf. Ride with the wolf. Now it has that space. It moves from back and forth. And this is what it sounds like with the track. All right, and that is how you use auto tune in Soundtrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Vaughn Levi. Be sure to subscribe and like us. Follow us on all social media platforms as Building Beats and the links and materials from today's video will be in the video description. Have a great day. Peace.